types of mechanical waves. A wave is a disturbance that transports energy from one place to another without transporting matter. Waves can be mechanical, electromagnetic, or matter. The focus of this video will be on mechanical waves. A mechanical wave is a wave that only travels through matter. This means it can travel through a solid, like a brick wall, a liquid like the ocean, or a gas like the air. It cannot travel through a vacuum which is why we don't hear the sound from exploding stars in space. There are two types of mechanical waves, longitudinal and transverse. A longitudinal wave is a wave where the disturbance is parallel to the direction the wave travels. Now look at this red dot representing the disturbance. Notice how the wave is moving left to right and the red dot is also moving left to right. The two directions are parallel of each other. Longitudinal waves can be demonstrated with a slinky. Take a look at the blue pieces of tape. They represent the disturbance. Notice how the wave is moving up and down from the top of the slinky to the bottom of the slinky. And the blue tape pieces are also moving up and down. They are both moving in the same direction and they are parallel. The parts of a longitudinal wave include compression and refraction. Compression is the distance where the wave is shorter and compressed. In refraction, the distance of the wave is more spread out. Examples of mechanical longitudinal waves are sound waves and earthquake primary waves or P waves for short. A transverse wave is a wave where the disturbance is perpendicular to the direction of the wave travels. Look at the red dot representing the disturbance. Notice how the wave is moving from left to right and the red dot is actually moving up and down. The two directions are perpendicular to each other. Transverse waves can also be demonstrated with a slinky. Again, take a look at the blue pieces of tape. They will represent the disturbance. Notice how the wave is moving from the top of the slinky to the bottom of the slinky, but the blue tape pieces are moving from side to side. The wave is going up and down, the blue pieces are moving side to side, and they are perpendicular of each other. The parts of a transverse wave include resting position, crest, and trough. Crest is the highest part of the wave. Trough is the lowest part of the wave and the resting position is where the wave would be if there was no disturbance moving through it. Examples of mechanical transverse waves are ripples on the surface of the water, human waves at sporting events, and an earthquake secondary wave, or S-wave. Let's wrap it up. Waves can be mechanical, electromagnetic, or matter. And mechanical waves can either be longitudinal or transverse. In longitudinal waves, the disturbance is parallel to the direction of the wave, and in transverse waves, it's perpendicular. What type of wave is this? If you guess transverse wave, you are correct. What type of wave is this? If you guess longitudinal wave, you are correct. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com